Now, before I review this thing, there's a there's a there's a freshman in my school. Her name is Rachel Gesner. She's doing this like international song competition, and he and she wrote a song called "On Her Way," which is to raise like OCD awareness or something like that. It's a very pretty song. I recommend you guys check it out right now. It's almost at like five thousand views. So that's a lot more views than my videos get, but. Whatever. Her voice is a lot better than a lot of pop artists nowadays, I will tell you that much, so f please check her out, and yeah, let's do this. Hollywood, please, stop making movies based off toys. <sighs> it's TVB. I'm, I'm here to review... Max Steele, which is about this dude named Max who's moved a bunch of times. He finally settles down in this one town where his father died. His father worked at this, like, one factory named Entech. I, I think that's what it's called. If, yell at me if I'm wrong. And then he realizes he has these, like, liquid metal T-1000 Terminator-ish powers that he launches out of his hands. And then all that energy, like, like brings back to life this little alien robot named Steel, and Steel, like, warns him that, like, these guys are out to kill them both, because him and Steel are connected, and together they could do great things, like fighting, and mech suits, and, and cool stuff like that, or what should be cool stuff, that is. Okay, I saw the trailer for this movie, and it actually had some promise. I, I thought it had some promise, at least. I mean, I liked, the, I especially liked the banter between Max and Steel. There are two leading men, or should I say, boy and robot alien duo in this movie and that is probably the most redeemable thing in this film it was the banter between the two of them and i i at times i thought it was clever i thought it was witty and other times i was just like is is that is that necessary okay the cgi in this movie it's not it's not terrible but every other technical part about this movie uh, it's very noisy, unnecessarily noisy. If you're noise intolerant, like don't 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 see this film. And there there's like the camera's very shaky, and there's like scenes that aren't even lit properly for crying out loud. And all the actors and all the characters in this movie, like none of them look like they wanted to be there. But the villain in this movie, who I'm not gonna tell you who he is because he's not in the trailer, so I consider that kind of spoilish. He was just like phoning it, it's like, oh yeah, I'll play a bad guy, pay me, what do I gotta do? It's like that sort of thing. And the character, just everybody in this movie is either like, phone, it, they're just, it's phoning it in. And that's what happens when you make a movie based off a of toy Hollywood. Oh my goodness gracious. I mean, look, I, I'm not totally against making movies based off toys. Or, or stuff like that. I mean, look at the Lego movie. That's a masterpiece. But it's just it's just simply for the cash. And seeing how this movie's doing well critically, that's not... You're not going places, Mattel. I'm sorry. And just things that happen in this movie, they, they don't make any sense. Like, okay, spoiler alert, but who cares? You're not going to see this movie. Like, you're going to... Like, there's this one scene where all the bad guys' henchmen arrive at their houses at their house's doorstep and her mom is there and they're ready to kill his mom and she's like no he made you do this you guys take orders from me now or i i maybe i wasn't paying attention to the full scene but they were just like okay we serve you now woman sir yes sir yes sir ma'am sir i will go rescue your son oh. And guys, it's difficult to bore me in movies. And while, like, this movie did succeed in intriguing that lizard part of my brain for at a few moments, I was just like, this is predictable. That's going to happen. Oh, yep, that just happened. Uh, I've seen this before. Yeah, he's a bad guy. Yeah, this is a girl who he's eventually hope is going to F-H-R-I-T-P. Oh, wait, no. They kiss. Okay, uh, close enough. What? Just... What is there to be said about Max Steel? I, I just, it's another blatant cash grab basing off a toy that I haven't even heard of until I started, until I looked it up, until I said, like, in the credits, based off the toy Max Steel from Mattel or something like that. It just, I, I, I'm, I, I got nothing. I'm done talking about this movie. Max Steel, I gotta give it a 2 out of 10 stars. It's a. It's a junkyard film. I know it's not grammatically correct, but like, there's a lot of metal in a junkyard, and this movie has a lot of metal in it, so therefore, the, this movie belongs in a junkyard. That's just, it's just how it is. 
Okay, tell me, what is the worst movie you've seen based on a toy? I, I'll be honest, I don't hate the Transformers movies as much as everybody else does, and I haven't seen Ouija or the Garbage Pail Kids movie or those, like, blatantly stupid, like, give-me-your-money type of movies. But yeah, let me know in the comments. Subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a rating where you think it deserves. Don't forget to check out Rachel Gesner's song. It's still in the description. Have a nice day. Good night.